You fucking listen to me, I said, come on, you cunts! <laughs> This is Dave from Rock and Roll Reviews, and I'm in Glasgow with Wes and Dave from Dripback. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? Right. All right? All good, man. All, All good. good. A little bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> I should have rowdy one yesterday. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's your last UK date, is that right? That's right. Yeah, yeah it's the last good today. Last, last day of the tour today. Yeah, cool. How's the energy feeling? Just a wee bit lower than the. Uh... Oh, yeah, I mean, we took the piss yesterday. So. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, had a, a we had to make a conscious decision in the morning as we missed out on breakfast, so we decided to just lay straight into the beers. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was a long day yesterday. <laughs> oh no, we'll be up for it tonight. Oh yes. Uh, okay. yes cool. So you've been on tour with Crowbar. That's right. How has the tour been going so far? Or up until now? Well, that's been really cool. Right? It's been fucking epic. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a fucking crush every night, man. Yeah. It's just so heavy. It's yeah. crazy. No, we're just chuffed when we get to see Crowbar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're cool guys as well. Tommy, yeah. Tommy the drummer's Crowbar. First time we came to Rasa, actually, we drew it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a drummer from Sweden, too, so it's nice to catch up with him. And uh, and it's good for us to be in a van together <laughs> as well. Yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, we don't get to hang out that much, do we? Like, in between. Yeah. We're like, uh, you know, Wes lives in Sweden, so, like, you know. Oh, no. And, um, yeah, so. We have a lot of things going on. Yeah, we haven't been up to much in the last six months, so yeah, it's good to get yeah. on the road and yeah. smash some tunes out. Yeah, obviously, like with the new album and everything, like we get yeah. to play new songs that we've uh, yeah. hadn't tucked away for a while, so yeah. cool. Good to have them. Yeah, the album came out uh, digitally, 20th of January. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Failed Futures. That's the one. How's, uh, how's the response to that album been so far? Ah, man's liking it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, everybody's yeah. into it, man. Like, cool. it's, it's been nice. Like, we're. Um, the final comes out at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, really, really hoping that, uh, that we get rid of those so that we can do another press of it real quick. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's. I mean, we're we're enjoying it. Yeah. You know, and we've had it for a long time. You know, the record was recorded. What? A year and a half ago. Okay. Yeah, it was uh, finished just before we last played Bloodstock. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a while, yeah. you know, and so it's, it's really nice that we're still, well, at least I know I'm listening to it, man. <laughs> and uh, I'm, not, I'm not sick of it yet, so yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool. <laughs> but uh, it's, the first, it's the first time that we've, you know, obviously that we've been out to promote it, so it's nice to, yeah. to meet other kids that are interested yeah. and people that are, are really down with it, people that are enjoying their lives and stuff, you know, like, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Bring on the next one, man. <laughs> so with a year and a half, so have you, I think you've, you started working on new material already, or? Um, that's been recorded yeah, before. well, Luke is like a, a riff machine, so oh, right. he, and he's always, you know, will be like walking down the street and be like, I've got a new idea, so <laughs> you know, and, and they'll like get his phone and he'll start singing riffs down the phone, and then you'll get it, and you know, you get five five a.m. emails from him saying, learn this. <laughs> you know? uh, so yeah, so there, there is uh, new stuff in the in the pipeline there as well. Cool. So hopefully after this tour, I think we're gonna just uh, knuckle down and nice. crack on with a new record. I think which will be quite cool. Probably take us a long time to get it done. No, we'll, write, we'll write an album in like a month and then it'll take us two years to release it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what that happens. That's more like it. Uh, you got um, Rush Russell back involved with, with this album as well. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. He was involved in your EP before, is that right? Yes. Yeah, he was yeah. involved in my hangover yesterday as well. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> He's a bad man. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think it's safe to say everything that we do, we do. Okay. Because, okay. You know, like, uh, we never. We've all been recording bands before, you know, many, many, many times, and uh, I don't think any of us have ever had such an experience as we do with Russ. Okay. Like, it's, uh, it's very, it's very personal, and it? it's, uh, it gets a lot out of us that we wouldn't even think about, and it's uh, definitely the way that we're, we're always going to do it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Nice, yeah. nice. Um, your kind of your, your style is made up of, um, or your sound is made up of all different kind of different styles. A bit of hardcore, and there's a bit of kind of death metal in there. Yeah. And, as a grind and stuff as well. What, what would you say are, the, are your kind of main influences as as, as players um, from other bands? What do you what do you feel are your main kind of influences? I don't know. I think everybody probably brings a little a little, a little slice to the table, table, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I think me, uh, other than me, the rest of us are all of the same age, so we all grew up listening to the same sort of music. Oh, right. So it'd be easy for me to say. I mean, I could probably speak for us all, say like sort of early nineties. Earache, 
and uh, yeah. Roadrunner, man, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah basically. You know, yeah. Yeah. And uh, some metal blade thrown in there. <laughs> all, all, all that early 90s stuff, man. Okay. Because it was the right time for us. We were all sort of, you know, 12, 13, mm -hmm. when some of the best, in my opinion, some of the best metal records were coming out. Yeah. You know, um, records that changed a lot of things, you know, from Definitely. all sorts of different stuff, you know, like from Burn My Eyes by Machine Head, which, which was obviously when you're talking about mixing genres mm -hmm. and stuff and the way that that came out. Um, Slaughter the Soul, you know, at the Gates, yeah, at the gates you know, pushing, pushing the harmonic death metal and stuff like yeah. that, you know, like. There was a bit of a change in Napalm Death in the early, uh, in the 90s as well, wasn't there, like 94? Yeah. Like Fear, Emptiness, Despair, yeah, you know, they, 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 just, it was, they stepped it up another level and they, they all these same, kind of same bands. with Carcass as well, man. You know, it was, yeah. it was all around that time, <coughs> yeah, yeah. and all that time you had Mad Ball and you had Biohazard and Sick of It All, Sick of it all and all these bands were doing that as well. And we weren't missing a, a beat with any of it because we were kids, man. You know, like yeah. <laughs> you fucking take everything you can get and swap it, you nick it, you do whatever you can to listen to new shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, and we, we're still listening to that crap now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to anything. Don't really listen to anything. Like, yeah. We're really bad. Sorry. Um, our uh, as our website is all about kind of punk, rock, and metal, but we do movies as well. Okay. Um, do you get a chance to see many movies when you're on tour, or do you watch a lot when you're off off tour? Um, I watch a lot of films at home. Uh, I don't really don't really get much time to do anything. Remember on the road, <laughs> do we? It's just literally it's just like van venue. Yeah. Like hotel, van, venue, hotel. Yeah, yeah. There isn't really much else, we don't get to see much. But um, yeah, at home, I watch films all the time. Do you see anything recently that you've really liked? Or? Yeah, man, I watched The Jungle Book the other day, <laughs> remastered, which was pretty cool. Um, Disney has got it all going on, man. Peril. <laughs> Death and peril and abandonment, and lots of issues. There's some dark shit in there. Yeah, yeah well, we're going to have to get back into that, aren't we? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's plenty more of that coming, you know, maybe like get a little mermaid up and stuff like that as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Something for everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, Lee, Lee sends me a lot of links and stuff. Like, Lee sends me a whole bunch of stuff where he's like, sort of like, oh, you have to download this one, fucking watch this or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I think the last time I went to a cinema, I went to see Django Unchained. That was, that oh, was yeah. fucking ridiculously good. <laughs> Quite a film. Yeah. Uh, I really, really, I really enjoyed Tarantino anyway, yeah. um, and just the ridiculous choices for music that's got absolutely nothing to do with that era, and shit like this, you know, like just makes it so much more important, you know, yeah. I really, really enjoyed that. But I don't know if you've seen this, fucking Lee sent me a link to this um, uh, documentary about a band called Blowfly. You ever heard that? Um, no, no. Man, check it out. No, I'd like, to get out. Apparently, this geezer in the 60s, he invented hip-hop. Like, and you've got like iced tea and shit on the, like being interviewed right. and going like, yeah, like, this guy invented hip hop like way before his time. And he was like just doing like sort of dirty rhymes and stuff. But he was, <coughs> he was um, like, um, he made music. Yeah. Like that he's now worth <coughs> like millions of dollars, but he'd never sort of put his name to it or anything. So yeah. everybody made loads of money off him. And this guy's still now like pure old dude going around in like a fucking mask singing about pussy and shit, you know, like, <laughs> and he's like, he's on his way down, like, he's, he's a really, really negative documentary, but it's well worth a watch, I think it's called the, the, the Interesting World of Blowfly or something, but oh, yeah, check out Blowfly, man, that's nice. some weird shit. <laughs> awesome. Um, so after this tour finishes, what, what you got else planned this year, any other tours or festivals, or? We've got, um, we've got a little London show uh, with our boys at the Rotted, oh, yeah. um, in Camden, haven't we? Twenty yeah. second of March. Cool. Um, other than that, though, you know, I think it's it's into the writing and yeah. get cracking cracking with that, and hopefully try and get crash a couple of summer festivals. I think cool. yeah. that might be quite nice, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. <clears throat> other than that, though, yeah, we just we'll see what happens. You know, we'll take whatever we can get. You know. Yeah. And you got the vinyl coming out twenty fourth of March. I think it was somewhere. Yes. Like that. Yeah. 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 You, can, uh, you can order it direct from uh, from us. The vinyl. We do a nice little package with that. I think like there's cool. a pre order special, isn't there? Yeah. You get like a shirt and uh, limited, shirt and limited, uh, limited edition white vinyl for twenty quid. Uh, yeah. And like a, and a download code as well, so you get a digital copy too. Which uh, is like you know. Awesome. Yeah. So it's a nice little bundle. Yeah. Which is one of the perks. Like you know. Like looking after this stuff ourselves. You know. Mm. We can we can do these extra bits. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know, you look at some of the record companies now, there's an only notice, you know, everyone's bringing out you know, re reissues of vinyl, you know, you know they charge them 25, 30 pounds for them, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, 
it would be good to get this vinyl out, you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to it. I want to come. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. Thanks very much for your time, guys. Much appreciated. Oh, dude, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much, man. Nice thank one. you. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers, guys.